Hi guys. Okay, so yesterday I went to the store. I'm up, this is in a haul, um, but I got the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Cream Makeup, and I heard so many good things about this that I really wanted to try it. So I got it yesterday, and I'm doing my first impressions on this because I wore this today, and I, I went outside. I did a lot of things. I wasn't just kind of like in the house all day. I went to I went to Genghis Grill and Yogurtville uh, with uh, JoJo and Redate, and I really tested this out. This is like my first impression, like the first day wearing it, and. I'll show you what it looks like. It's like a really bulky packaging. I mean, like, good lord, this is bulky. I mean, like, really? Why would you need that much glass? So it's really heavy. You open it. I oh, this little stopper. Like that. Has a little stopper like that. And you take it off. I have, I have like, makeup all over it. And looks like... Oh, let me put this down. Oof. Looks like that. And um, one of my favorite YouTubers, Amory, she said this uh, it reminded her of a a melted milkshake, and that's actually really what it reminds me of. Like I said, it's not it's not as runny as a melted milkshake. And okay, so I'm just gonna say like I don't know why. Like I just wore this today. Like nothing else. Just this on my face with like my eye makeup and whatever. Um, and I feel like halfway through the day, I, it felt like it wasn't completely dry. But now it is, like, it's fine, but maybe it's because it's really hot here in Texas, so I'm not sure, but, um, it applied really well. I got, I also got these yesterday. It's the, uh, Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. It's just a really dense, um, uh, like a face brush, and it's duo fiber, synthetic, and so it's ideal for cream make cream whipped makeup, and it just kind of like applied flawlessly over my face. Um, I will say like if you don't like for me, if I didn't wash my face, like like uh, my T zone, no, not really my T zone, like here. And then right here, basically like this, this area right here, it gets really, really dry. Like especially like my like sides of my nose, and like right here on my forehead, it gets really, really dry. And this like this would probably like last night. I tried it on and I hadn't washed my face yet. Cause like, I just wanted to like see like ooh, uh, I got this today. Let's see what this looks like. And it kind of like attached to like the. Uh, dry skin there, and it was really ca really cakey on my nose. So I would say, if you're going to wear this the next day, wash your face, like get a thorough scrubbing and all that, so it doesn't look all gross and uh, nasty. But yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot to uh, mention this. I'm in color 110 Ivory. I think it's the lightest one they come in, and it's a pretty good color match for me. Uh, my mom, she was, uh, she was like, well, are you sure this is the lightest shade they have? And I was like, she's like, you know, like a consultant. I'm like, a consultant, mom? No. They don't have a consultant at all, except for make, for like, what am I trying to say? Drugstore makeup. And I'm like, you'll know, like, I didn't, uh, take advantage of this deal, but all the Revlon stuff right now is buy one, get one half off, I believe. So if you guys want to, like, check that out. But yeah, and I don't know if it's just me, but like I have like a hard time like grabbing this little like thing to take the stopper off, and then there's like makeup all over it. I mean like, and I don't really need a lot. Like what I'll do is I'll like take the brush and I'll kind of like dab it on like the stopper, and I'll kind of like apply it that way to my face. Cause, like my nails are really long, and so I can't really dip it into this, or it'll kind of like get all under my nails, and it just gets a mess. But yeah, those are my first impressions of the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Cream makeup. So yeah, um, my birthday's coming up in a few weeks, 
So I will be doing a big birthday haul once I have everything. I know I am getting Scentsy for the first time. I'm getting a bunch of stuff from there. I'm getting a mid-size warmer, huh? Oh, and all that kind of stuff. And yeah. Oh, by the way, I actually started this uh this started out as a dud, but now it's like a cool thing. Like it's one of like I got this like freshman year uh, from a uh, a giveaway that I won. And it cracked in the uh, mail. It's like the eyes will just face like this. You'll see like uh, the three section uh, makeup brush holder. And like this divider that was supposed to be right here, it completely broke out of it. And then this one, it kind of like cracked the top of part of it. But it's like it was still usable. So what I'm doing now is I'm kind of like kind of like putting miscellaneous things in here. Like like here, I'm only on my, uh, I don't have very many brushes, but hold on. I don't have very many brushes, but the ones that I do have, I keep them in here. And then, like, on this side, I have, like, random things. Like, I have, like, a receipt just in case my uh, Revlon um, makeup wasn't uh, light enough for me or dark or too dark or whatever. And, like, I have, like, these earrings that my grandparents gave me that I really will probably never use. Um, and then also on the side, I have my two tweezers and my uh, nail clippers. Yeah, I just keep it right next to my uh, makeup setup right here, and yeah. So um, yeah, I'll be talking to y'all later. Bye. Oh.